Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time has been a window, and today we're going to be doing some Overwatch. As you can see here, we are in Wingman. It's the 1v1 mode in Wingman. A suspect here trying to take down Goose. And as you can see, Goose is full-on rage hacking from that very first kill. The suspect is following Goose through the wall, so the suspect is definitely using a wall hack, and it looks like an aim lock at this point. But it is still very difficult for him to take down this Rage Hacker, and you can imagine why. Anti-Aim does not make things easy. Alright guys, and on to the game. It looks like the suspect's gonna go full-on Rage Hack mode now, staring at the ground and making his way over here towards Monster. Both of the CTs are full-on Rage Hacking as well. Suspect holding the angle, able to take down both Goose and Toucan. Alright guys, plenty of evidence here, let's go and report this. Major disruption, aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, gonna go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. Next up, we find ourselves on D Mirage. Blackbird here has 11 kills, 204 damage around with a 90% headshot percentage. Those stats scream full-on Rage Hacker to me. Let's see what this actually is. All right, right off the bat, he's going to be B-hopping his way over here into B-halls. And B-halls. Into Palace. What am I talking about? Either way, making his way over here towards the middle. Let's be honest, they don't need me to be overwatching a case like this. You can clearly see the B-hop script. You can clearly see the instant reaction time and aim lock with that scout. And the AI system should be able to just be like, hey... This guy is full-on rage hacking, auto ban. Why would I ever send this to Overwatch? Either way, gonna be it around the corner here, able to take down Bulldog. Actually, Albatross got that kill, and it's just one CT left over there towards the B site, and he's pushing through Market. It's taken down by the suspect through the wall. Yeah, this guy looks so legitimate. Basically, I'm just gonna say that Valve's AI system has to really suck for cases like this to easily get past. And also for them to give me so many rage hacking cases where people are full on spin botting or using anti aim, flicking around and getting kills. I mean, you'd think it'd be easy to program something to counter that. Either way, the suspect here able to take down Zebra, just two counter terrorists remaining. One making his way over here through CT spawn, gonna shoot him right through the box. And last guy in CT spawn, the suspect here getting shot by Rose. Suspect's gonna push forward here, gonna go for the flank. Can he take down Goose as Goose makes his way over there into Window Room? Actually, he's right outside of Window Room on top of the box here. Suspect's looking at him through the wall and takes down Goose. All right, guys, let's go and report this case as well. Time for the Overwatch resolution. As for major disruption aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And as for major disruption other external assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. He had the B-hop script, the aim lock, and the wall hack. As for griefing though, wasn't really griefing his teammates, so I'm gonna go with insufficient evidence here. Again, these kind of incredibly blatant cases, as well as the full-on rage hackers, really should be caught by the AI and automatically banned. Let's move on to the next case. Once again, we find ourselves on D Mirage, the suspect here, peeking out, gonna get the no scope, and gets taken down. You can see everything is incredibly choppy, that is because it's automatically setting the interpolate to zero. And that's supposed to help to find if someone is using any kind of anti-aim. Either way, I'm going to clear things up, make things a little bit smoother. It'll be easier to watch this way. I'm going to pick up that AWP once again and making his way over here towards T-Spawn. Looks like he got caught off guard right there. Tried to flick over and take down one of the terrorists. Not quite able to get on target. Right now, definitely not enough evidence to say that this guy is cheating. He is able to take down Taurus. One more guy up top. Heard the footsteps and able to take down Goose. Right now, it looks like we might be in for one hell of a game if this guy is legitimate. And the game is live. The suspect here making his way over here towards the B site, following his teammate. It looks like there was a little bit of a communication issue on where he wanted to go at the beginning of this game, but he did make the right choice, it looks like, because they are coming over here towards B. Able to take down that first guy, the second guy, the fourth guy. Uh, he actually missed the second guy, killed the third guy and fourth guy, and fifth guy. But that second guy is over here by Van, and the suspect's gonna peek around the corner. And this guy has some of the most amazing aim I have ever seen. And he seems to be using some kind of fake angle, as you can see there at the end, how it glitched out like that. So I believe this guy is using an aim lock and using an anti-aim. This round, the terrorists have taken that B site, so the suspect's gonna have to rotate over here. 
Still though, this retake shouldn't exactly be difficult for him. With his shot being as on as it is, should hit everyone in the face here. Actually, Mask gets that first kill. Gonna peek over there, does spot out a guy over here towards Catwalk. And able to dink him, not quite able to finish him off though. One more guy over here towards Bench. He expected that bullet to just shoot him in the face. Comes around the corner, now he gets that headshot. Uh, I don't think he's using a wall hack. All right, once again, making his way over here towards CT spawn. Hit a couple of hops there. Gets the one tap onto Puffin. Looks like he's just running around here, trying to one tap everyone. As you can see Donkey there on the left-hand side. Knows Dick of the utility. Able to get the headshot on a Donkey. Did not one tap him, though. Making his way over here towards middle. Last guy on catwalk. Gets taken down by Whale. Now the suspect's going to change things up and decide to go with that AWP. Holding over there on left mid. One guy peeks out. He is able to take down Goose. Repositioning over here. Able to take down Macaw. Now we still got one guy over there on the A ramp, right outside of the A ramp, able to take down his teammate, he should know approximate position here, jumps in there and takes down Donkey, as you can see he doesn't have to worry too much about his aim because he has a program aiming for him. This time he's going to push through underpass here, here's the guy over here towards B that gets taken down by Sale through the wall, and the suspect here going to be pushing aggressive through B halls, might be able to catch this guy in middle off guard. Jumps out, hits a couple of hops here, actually hits a bunch of hops, B hop script confirmed. And that's just going to leave the last guy over here on the A ramp. The suspect coming in for the flank here, going to try to be quiet about it. Looks like Donkey has turned around, peeks the corner, peeks him pretty much perfectly right there. But Mask is actually the one that gets the kill. Alright, he hit the jump to make it towards window. That was really nice, but obviously scripted. And gonna try to take some shots over here towards Puffin. Not quite able to get on target. And yes, the more I watch it, the more I think he is wall hacking. Anyway, peeking up behind McCall here. Able to no-scope him once in the back. Down to 30-something HP. 35, I think. 36. Gonna be pushing in for the flank here. Seal's able to take down McCall. And it looks like three more guys near the top of mid. Here's one guy close here on the right-hand side, able to take down Goose with the no-scope. Now going for the mid-picks here, not quite able to get on target, goes for the re-peak and gets taken down. Suspect pushing up middle here using that B-hop script, going for the no-scope onto Goose. And as you can see, he looks like he's wall-hacking, using a B-hop script, which is other external assistance, and using an aim lock. Alright, it looks like the suspect might be sick of dying, he's gonna go with his auto-sniper now. One guy pushing towards mid, he knew he was coming. Got ready for it and able to take down Goose with the headshot. Still got one more guy left over here on A ramp. Gets taken down. Time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. As for Major Disruption Aim Assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for Vision Assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And as for Other Control Assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And while this guy was fairly blatant the farther we went in this game, at least I can understand why I was overwatching this case, because the AI would probably have a pretty difficult time with a case like this. Completely understandable. And as for griefing, I'm gonna go with insufficient evidence here. That's today's cases. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.